Hey guys, it's Sean here, and today I got not just one, but two shoes to review for you. And they are the Nike Lunar Epic Flyknit Low in the Unlimited Olympic colorway, as well as the Racer Blue Total Crimson Multicolor colorway. So both pairs of these Lunar Epic Lows uh, retailed in Canada for 215 Canadian dollars. I believe they're available in the US for 160 USD. So this unlimited colorway was available uh, on Nike.ca as well as the Nike Running Store down at the Eaton Center in Toronto, Canada. Officially, the colorway for this unlimited model is multicolor on the box. But if you really look at it and take a look at the actual weave, you can see that it's more of a blend of Volt and a vibrant hot pink. It features a white swoosh on both the lateral and the medial side of the shoe, along with black flat laces. The removable insole is four millimeters thick, and as you can see, it's a Volt color. And it's finished off with a, a little patch of 3M on the heel, as well as a Volt and white outsole. So this multicolor pair was available at the Champ store at the Eaton Center and I grabbed them sometime last week. The official colorway for this is black, white, racer blue and total crimson. But in reality, you can see that this is really more of a true multicolor blend compared to the unlimited colorway. So when I went down to the Champ store last week to pick these up, they actually had four pairs in my size and I was able to look at each pair individually and uh, pick out the left foot and the right foot until I was happy with my set. Because each shoe was made so differently, you really had a great opportunity to pick and choose based on your own preference what you liked. So some pairs had a lot more blue, other pairs looked a lot more volt and yellow, and some pairs had a lot more of that total crimson weave within the shoe. So in comparison to say the Nike Flyknit Racer, whether it's the multicolor V1, V2, or V3, I'd have to say that these Lunar Epic multicolor lows are the most diverse of a weave that I've seen Flyknit have on a Nike shoe to date. So this shoe also features white swooshes on both the lateral side and the medial side of the shoe. Instead of the Volt insole on the um, Unlimited colorway, this one has a black insole and it does have the same black flat laces and the same white and Volt outsole. So from a sizing standpoint, these run true to size. So I wear the same size in these, 10 and a half, as I do in my Nike Finite Racers, my Roshis, my Jordan 1s, and my Ultra Boosts. So aside from looking really dope and having a unique Flyknit weave on both of these pairs, the main selling point for these is the comfort. And this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, but these probably rival the Ultra Boost in terms of comfort for me. If you haven't tried these before, do yourself a favor, go to the nearest store and try them on when you can, and let me tell you, you won't be disappointed. So while the Ultra Boost may feel more plush, giving you that feeling of walking on clouds or walking on a mattress, I'd say that these ones offer you a bit more support. And for me, when I wear Ultra Boosts too long, I have that fatigue in my arches uh, because they're almost too soft. So these ones give you a bit more of that balance of uh, rigidity, as well as still being really comfortable with the full length Lunar Lawn. So I do own a pair of the Lunar Epic Highs, and these feel pretty much identical, except for the fact that obviously it's a low cut shoe, and the insole in here is defaulted to be four millimeters, whereas for the high cuts, they give you that option of either four or six millimeter insoles that you can interchange between. So that wraps up my review of the Lunar Epic Low Flyknit in the Unlimited Olympic colorway as well as the Multicolor colorway. Let me know which ones you guys think is the better choice. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at SGO8 as I'll definitely be posting some on-feed pictures of both of these in the next few weeks. Thanks again for watching, thanks again for the support, and I'll see you in the next video.